Welcome to TNB Reviews. This is Don't Look Up. The film tells the story of two low-level astronomers played by Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence who must go on a giant media tour attempting to warn humanity about an approaching comet that will destroy human civilization and Earth as we know it. Our guests today have made a pretty big discovery in space. How big is this thing going? I can't destroy my ex-wife's house. Is that possible? <laughs> There's a 100% chance that we're all going to die! Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> well, the handsome astronomer can come back anytime, but the yelling lady, mm, not, so not so much. Perfect. Let's go into the pros and cons of this movie. I think it is a good commentary on humanity because it was overly dramatized, but actually not that overly dramatized. And that's the terrifying part. Yeah. Do you think this type of scenario would be similar to how it would actually play out. Yes, because like going off of the climate change, going off of COVID, like we've seen how people react to scientific things and how like media covers it and makes it more of a, a polarizing thing instead of a informational thing. Yes. So I think I see the reality coming through within this. Yeah. This movie also had a ton of big name actors. Yes. Like every single one was recognizable. Kate Blanchett, Tyler Perry, Leonardo DiCaprio, Meryl Streep, Jennifer Lawrence, Timothy Chalamet. Which is good. I think it's good to have big name actors, especially for a film like this that is made to send a message and not really made to entertain. Mm -hmm. But I think it took me out of the movie because I recognized all of them. Cons, terrible editing. Yeah. So much stock footage. Yeah. My biggest con with the movie is why did he have to cheat on his wife? It's Kate Blanchett. But why did he have to cheat on his wife? It's Kate Blanchett. It, it didn't aid to the plot whatsoever because in the end of the movie, he just goes home and she's like, I cheated on you in college. It's fine. I forgive you. Um, my other con is Timothy Chalamet with a mullet. Whatever those extensions were, why did he look so greasy? Honestly, their, their whole costuming for all the characters is pretty weird. What did you think about the acting? All of the actors are great. Yeah. I really had no problems with the acting. Mm -hmm. Thought it was all very believable. Meryl Streep as president. Yeah. Let's move on to why would you recommend this movie? I think it makes people think. Yeah. There has to be movies that are simply made to make people think. And this is a good one because it really plays on the insaneness of the scenario. With this, it's so obvious that you can like look up and see it. Yeah. Um, but people are, and it's so like the hashtag of don't look up. Like, yes. Don't look up, but everyone's like, look up. It's obviously there. How many eyeballs would you give it? <laughs> I would give it seven out of 10 because of what you're saying. Like people do need to see this and see like the ridiculous ways that people are like, we need to mine that rock for money. So we should let it hit earth. What about you? How many eyeballs? I think I would also give it seven out of 10. Okay. It's worth a watch. I don't need to see it again. I might tell very specific people in my life that they should watch it. Right. But it was well executed. There was nothing that I can say inherently bad about it. It got its point across, yeah. which is all you, all you can ask. Yeah, it's satirical, it's funny, um, gets the point across. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching TNB Reviews. Come back next time to see us review The Batman. <laughs>